deep extensor muscles of the forearm and extensor retinaculum. The deep muscles of the forearm are ranged from above downwards. Number one, supinator muscle, which takes the origin by two heads, superficial head from lateral epicondyle of the humerus, and the deep head from supinator fossa, supinator crest of the ulna. Insertion into the anterior and the lateral and the posterior surface of the upper part of the radius. Nerve supply from the posterior interosseous nerve which passes between superficial and the deep heads of the muscle. Action supinates the forearm with biceps. The second muscle is abductor polishes longus, takes the origin from the upper part of the posterior surface of both radius and the ulna, and the interosseous membrane between them. Insertion into the base of the metacarpal bone of the thumb. Nerve supply from the posterior interosseous nerve. Action, abduct the thumb and helps in the flexion and the abduction of the wrist. The third muscle is extensor polishes brevis, takes the origin from the lower part of the posterior surface of the radius and the interosseous membrane also. Insertion into the dorsum of the base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb. Nerve supply, from the posterior interosseous nerve. Action extends the carbometacarpal and the metacarbophalangeal joints of the thumb. This is the deep group of muscles starting by supinator muscle and this is the posterior interosseous nerve passes between two heads of supinator muscle. Extensor polishes longus takes the origin from the posterior surface of the middle third of the ulna and also from the interosseous membrane. Insertion into the terminal phalanx of the thumb. Nerve supply from posterior interosseous nerve. Action extends all joints of the thumb. This is the deep group of muscle supinator, abductor polishes longus, extensor polishes brevis, extensor polishes longus, extensor indices. All these muscles are supplied by posterior interosseous nerve. Then extensor retinaculum. It is thickening of the deep fascia on the posterior surface of the lower ends of both radius and the ulna. It lies obliquely. It is medial end attached to the triquetral bone and the styloid process of the ulna while it is lateral end attached to the sharp edge between the lateral and the anterior surface of the lower end of the radius. The space under the retinaculum is subdivided into six compartments by five septa descends from the deep surface of the retinaculum. This is the six compartments. This is six compartments. The first second, third, fourth, fifth, and the sixth compartments. This is transverse section here, showing this is extensor retinaculum. In front, there is flexor retinaculum also. The compartments of the extensor retinaculum, number one or first compartment, containing abductor polishes longus and extensor polishes brevis. The second compartment transmits Extensor carpiridialis longus and breathes. The third compartment transmits extensor polishes longus only, while the fourth compartment transmits four structures extensor digitorum, extensor indices, terminal part of posterior interosseous nerve, and terminal branch of the anterior interosseous artery. The fifth compartment transmits extensor digiti minimi, while the sixth compartment transmits extensor carbi ulnaris. This is the different compartments from the extensor retinaculum. First, abductor bullishes longus, extensor bullishes briefs. Second, this is the third. Fourth, containing four structures. The fifth, containing extensor digiti minimi, 
the sex compartment containing extensor carbial nerves. Then anatomical snuff box, it is a triangular depression at the lateral part of the dorsum of the hand. It is bounded medially by extensor polished lungs, while laterally bounded by abductor polished lungs, extensor polished previs. The floor of the snuff box is formed by back of scaphoid bone and the trapezium bone. The contents number one radial artery, superficial radial nerve, beginning of the cephalic vein. Then tendons of the extensor carpi radialis longus and briefs. This is anatomical snuff box, triangular depression here, containing radial artery, beginning of the cephalic vein.